Taking off the gloves, I've had enough, it's in my blood I was born for this Alright, welcome to the show guys today, this is a fantasy football rankings rant So I warn you that I will be cursing in this video I warn you that you need to turn down the volume because I will be yelling I warn you that I will let out some steam in this episode because I'm angry. I'm angry at the way the industry has been for many years and yet it still doesn't continue to change. I'm going to change it. I'm going to continue to change it. It's going to change this year. This year we end the bullshit when it comes to fantasy football cookie cutter consensus rankings. This is the year. This is the change. This is the video. I want you to share this video. I want you to take this video. There's a share button here at the bottom. You need to take this button and you need to share it to your mother, your father, your sister. I don't care if they don't play fantasy football. I don't give a fuck. You need to take this video, you need to share it. You need to share it, you need to hit the thumbs up because we want to increase engagement on this video so more people in the fantasy football community see it, okay? Everything in here is going to be real. I'm going to keep it real with you because my mission is that you guys actually win your leagues. My mission is that you guys actually succeed. This isn't just about entertainment. This is about you guys winning your leagues because there's money online, there's bragging rights online, there's a lot of reputation online, there's trophies online, there's your life on the line, there's time away from your family on the fucking line with your fantasy leagues and it continues to give you... The they give you bullshit fantasy football cookie cutter analysis. We're going to dive into how bullshit this is right now. We're going to dive in how we're going to change it. But again, you guys need to take action. If you're a line, you've got the line mentality. I'm talking through the camera. I'm talking through the channel. I'm talking to you. Yes, you, you right there. The person that's sitting right there. I see you in this lens. You need to take this. You need to hit the thumbs up. You need to comment. We need to increase the algorithmic engagement on this video because it's going to help more people see we need to share this message we're going to hit the share button we're going to share it in our stories we're going to share it on instagram we're going to share it everywhere we're going to share it on our facebook we're going to share it with our friends because the fantasy industry needs to hear this you need to hear this people need to hear this the rant is here i'm going to change the game and i'm going to continue to change the game because i haven't changed the game but more people need to hear it so i implore you guys i ask you guys to please share this game, this this video that I'm going to get into. Hit the like button and leave your comments below. Good comments, nice positive comments because I'm here to move things in the right direction. Yes, I come in angry, but sometimes you need a little bit of steam. Sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the gets the grease because that's what's going to happen here in this video. I can't help but laughing, but this reminds me very very much of WWE when I when I grew up. But anyway, that's besides the point here. I'm very serious. I'm actually very, very angry because before this, Tim the Bald Guy got an earful before I jumped onto this rant. So I'm going to dive in. Let's get to the rant right now. Let's dive in. Let's dive in right now. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about the rankings. What's wrong with the industry? For example, 2021 fantasy football rankings. I'm looking at them right now. If you, have you hit the thumbs up yet? Hit the thumbs up. Share this. Hit the, Get ready. Get the, get the link copied. So that you can share it as soon as I'm done talking and you guys understand that what's going on here. And I want to give you a little disclaimer here, okay? I'm not 100% right on everything. So I want all those people say, oh, Joe, you're not 100% right. I know, but I'm far better off. You're far better off listening to me than the mainstream, the magazines, the four-letter networks, the, the BS uh, cookie cutter uh, fluffy podcast. I'm not going to name names here, but you guys know who you are. You guys know who you are. You guys were disrespectful to me when I got in this industry. You know who you are. And you guys continue to put out bullshit fantasy football analysis. That's what you do. That's what you continue to do. And it all stops right now. It stops right here. It stops right now because this is the number one fantasy football podcast. And you're going to hear it from the ambassador, the face of fantasy football. You're going to hear it from me because the people need to hear it because I'm the people's champ. Again, back to the WWE reference, I, I meant no reference to that at all, but besides the fact. All right, so yes, I was wrong. I suggested to stay away from Dalvin Cook last year because he had not finished the season. Yes, I said, don't go uh, DeAndre Hopkins, right? Because I didn't really trust him getting the volume that he got, but he, he did. But anyway, I went running robust RB anyway, so it didn't really matter with Hopkins, okay? But there's a lot of things I got right. I got Justin Jefferson right, I told you. Justin Jefferson in my 16 round draft which by the way if you want to win the link below 16 rounds it is the game changer there's no more ra rankings are dead I just do it as a formality but even my rankings as a formality on the fantasy football account so I come are more accurate than the cookie cutter rankings that we're seeing here on these BS sites okay I'm not going to mention what site I'm looking at I'm not going to give them any plugs but I will tell you it's can sheeps this consensus rankings. I told you Jefferson round seven in my 16 round draft which, which you can pre-order right now the fantasy football link below I told you Justin Jefferson, round seven. He was going undrafted. They called him the waiver wire wonder of 2020. 
Why? Why didn't you not see that 150 freed up targets were there with Diggs being gone? Why didn't you see the talent of him? Now he's ranked, where is he ranked here? He's ranked like number eight in the rankings. Let me pull this up here. Ranked eight. Yes. Why do you like him now all of a sudden? Why do you like him now? Why are you riding his dick right now? Why do you like Jefferson right now more than anybody? Why? Why? Why didn't you like him last year? Why? Why didn't you like him last year? Tell me. Tell me why. Uh, not, I think that was a 90s song as well. But listen, the point I'm trying to make is why did you not like Jefferson last year, but now you're riding his dick? I'm, I'm filtering here by wide receivers, okay? You, you have him eighth. Why? why? He has no business being there now. Why? Well, because he did well. Why didn't you see that before? The counselor saw it. Let's talk about another scenario, okay? Back in 2020, this past season that just passed, everybody said Godwin ahead of Evans. Why? I said, stay away from these guys. 16 rounds warned you. I said, stay away. Why? Because Godwin's coming off a pinnacle year, right? New quarterback. Brady's coming in. They're going to spread the ball around. Both these guys are going to both finish outside the top 10. And guess what happened? Both of them finished outside the top 10. Evans finishing 11th. Yes, I was close, right? Yeah, I finished 11th. That's close, Joy. But the Consheeps has all told you. Draft Godwin. I did a bazillion, a bazillion mock drafts. And they all said the same thing. They said Godwin goes in the second round. And guess where Evans goes? Evans goes in the third round. And both of them finished outside the top 10. And they had given, got Godwin ahead of Evans. Why? Because Godwin finished ahead in 2019. They lied. They manipulated. They copied and pasted. That's got to end. And it's got to end now. I'll give you another example. Ridley, yes, he's heating up. He's doing better, right? We're kind of see how the quarterback situation is going to happen there in Atlanta. But Julio's always been ahead of Ridley. But because Ridley finished ahead of Julio last, stick with me, because Ridley finished ahead of Julio, they're doing the same thing. They're pasting. Ridley's currently sitting at fourth right now amongst wide receiver rankings, and Julio's below. Yes, Julio's getting older. We get it. He was injured. But watch. As soon as Julio, let's say, beats Ridley again, next year it's going to be Julio ahead of Ridley. Do you see a pattern here? Do you see the copy and paste? Yes. Where's Michael Thomas? Everybody, they shoved it down your throat. Shoved it down your throat deep. They shoved it down your throat deep. Michael Thomas, that's what they said. Top five pick. Every I guess he got hurt. I get it. But he was coming off a pinnacle year. And I warned you in my 16-round drafts, was stay away from Michael Thomas. He's going to decline. Decline. Do not invest a top five pick. Go robust RB. Yes, I said Saquon, but I warned you against Christian McCaffrey. So we dodged one bullet, but you know, I couldn't have predicted Saquon. One and two, either way. Everyone has Saquon at one and two. Yes. You know, but I also said Derrick Henry there. I, I had Derrick Henry ahead of Michael Thomas. Go Derrick Henry. Don't draft Michael Thomas ahead of Derrick Henry. I said it to you. Clyde Edwards there. Don't buy the hype. Everyone had Clyde Edwards there mid-fifth round. I said, stay away. Be cautious. Yes, I love the upside of Clyde Edwards there, but understand the Chiefs are a throw first team. I don't see the volume going to be there for the guy. Yet they all shoved Clyde Edwards Lair down your throat. They shoved Michael Thomas down your throat. Where's the accountability? No one said, yeah, I made a mistake. I said stay away from Dalvin Cook because he hadn't finished the season. Yes, I make mistakes, but I think outside the box. I skate to where the puck is going. This is bullshit rankings. These fantasy football rankings need to stop. The magazine needs to stop the printing. The industry standard is here, 16 rounds. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, listen good. Michael Thomas is ranked 13th right now. Why is he not ranked top five? Why? It's the same player. Odell Beckham Jr. When we're talking wide receiver rankings, they had him. Listen to this. I want you to write this down. You just, this is why I want you to share this video. They told you for three years in a row, minus last year. Last year they had him in the third round ADP. They told you to draft Odell Beckham round one. You know, three years in a row, round one. Draft him in the first round. They said, draft him in the first round. They said, draft him in the first. The third year you didn't get a pattern. Second year that, that you realize Odell's overrated. How do you not see that? How do you not see that? And the last year they told you in the third round, he got hurt again. Don't you guys see the pattern? Don't you see that they ride the train? They ride the popularity contest. These rankings are bullshit. They're lying to you. There is no thought process behind this. Do I need to speak slower? There is no thought press thought process behind the rankings that are distributed to the mainstream. The, the mainstream consumers are given out. It's BS. Everything here is bullshit.
It's a bowl fucking shit. They lie. They shit on a plate and then they fucking hand it to you. That's what they fucking do. That's what the mainstream does. Again, I'm not going to name names. If you want names, DM me on Instagram, Fantasy Football Council. We'll talk names if you want to, you want to get a little more personal because these guys are fucking dicks when I met them in real life. But I had to tell you guys, these are bullshit rankings, okay? I'm going to pull up running backs real quickly here. I'm looking at it. Again, Jonathan Taylor is now seventh. Why weren't you riding him when I was telling everybody, draft him in the second, third round, he's going to be a beast. Yet they didn't believe me, right? Why are they... Why are they riding all these guys? Why did they tell you Austin Eckler round two last year? How about Kenyon Drake? Where's Kenyon Drake right now? Where is he? He was a top 10 across the board. Where's Kenyon Drake? Where is he? Oh, wait. The council warred against that. Where I don't even see him in the rankings. Where is he? Oh, he's now 22nd. I warned you he was a backup in Miami for years. Years. He was a backup in Miami. What has he done to, to solidify a early second round pick last year? Why was he top 10? Why? Why? You guys lie every single year. Joe Mixon, I warned you against Mixon. His pinnacle year was like 200, and I don't have it in front of me, 230, 40 points. He's never hit, been a high-ceiling guy on a suspect offense with a new quarterback coming in. Yet they had him top 10. Mixon, I warned you against these guys. I can keep going on and on and on and on with this. And David Montgomery, right? They're now they're riding him a little bit more, but he's still not. He's around 18th in the rankings right now. Still don't believe in the, in the volume that he got, right? So again, I, like I just I got to rant about this. I need you guys to share this video. I need you guys to share that what happens in this fantasy industry, this seven, I don't know what it is, seven billion dollar industry, right? Because you guys are out there. There's over 60, 70 million people across North America that play fantasy across North America. And I've had people message me. And I have downloads from Australia and England and Germany. And shout out to all those places, right? But listen, I got to tell you, it's complete bullshit. It's complete bullshit. The rankings, the magazines, the outdated cheat sheets, the cookie cutter advice. The like, there's no point in listening to anybody else because they're not skating the, pup, the where the puck is going. Well, Joel, Joel, you're just you're guessing. You're being no. They're educated guesses. The reason I had Jefferson in my top 20 rankings last year, even though I don't do rankings, I had him this. I just call it seventh round ADP in 16 rounds because 16 rounds is the gold standard now in what the analysis should be. I had him in the seventh round, right, where he was going undrafted. Nobody talked about Claypool. Claypool finished pretty well this year. I don't have his exact right, finish right here. Uh, I can pull this up right here. Claypool finished 22nd in PPR. He was going undrafted. He was ranked like, 79th amongst wide receivers. I was telling you, Claypool's got upside. Deontay Johnson. You got to understand, you got to look back at the year a couple years ago where Juju and um, AB had 168, 166 targets respectively, both finishing in the top 10. There's targets to give. Big Ben throws a lot. He throws a lot. Educated guesses draft Deontay Johnson for good value. He was going pretty much really late, or and Claypool was undrafted. How do you not see this? What they're doing is simply taking copying and pasting. Copying and pasting. Why? They do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a safe thing to do. It's a safe thing to do. So like, ah, you know, it's safe. We're just going to copy and paste these rankings. It's a safe thing to do. That's what we're just going to do. Number two, there's no accountability. So it's just, you know, well, if I copy and paste last year's ranking, nobody can cut me up if I'm wrong. I'm just doing what everybody else is doing. I'm just following the herd. If the entire sheep herd is going this way, right, how do you pick out? They're all, all the sheep look the same. You can't really say, well, that sheep said that, right? I'm going the opposite way. I'm roaring like a lion in the opposite direction from these sheep. And they continue to give out this bullshit cookie, cookie cutter advice. And it ends now. It ends now. It stops this year, 2021. The counselor is completely taking over the industry and making sure you guys win your leagues and you get advice that works, advice that's real, advice that's genuine, advice that's actually thought out. Let's think about it. Jefferson, why did I have him top 20? Why did I recommend him in the seventh round? Let's talk about it. Amazing talent out of college. Top prospect, good good player. The defense is going to be distracted on Dalvin Cook, right? Opening things up. Not to mention when... Diggs was there. There's 150, 150, 150, 100, 150, 100, 150 freed up targets. And the Vikings invested an early draft pick on Jefferson. I had to have him. I had to have him a value. But nobody talked about it. They had him ranked 59th amongst wide receivers in the Kinshipsis rankings, in the magazines, in the four-letter networks. Nobody talked about it. Now he's top 10. You have no business putting him in the top 10 because you didn't believe in him last year. Now you believe in them? Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, rant over.
Subscribe, get the 16 round draft solution. Share this video, leave a thumbs up. Let me know, does this make sense? Am I making sense to you? Logic, the lions will understand. The sheep, they'll be in the hate in the comments. They'll be hating in the comments. But the lions will understand. They understand that you can't do what the mainstream wants you to do. You gotta think outside the box. And that goes in life as well. All right, guys, I'm out, rant over. Subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share this video. I'm out.